hello what's up guys uh, I'm excited to share another tutorial in this tutorial I will show you how to get user current location using Apple native API location services and in the next tutorial I will show you Google Maps SDK to get the user current location iOS has a very powerful API for tracking users location and working with maps so uh, let's get started so here is my Xcode uh, these are the templates uh, you can choose for application I use single view app and click next uh, I will type the name of my project it is the get current location demo or you can say that current location demo I will put this project in the description uh, you can find the link in the description so here is the new uh, export project setup uh, here are the settings in the general tab now I will go to the view controller page and uh, I will import basically IS location services class use those methods inside my file so in this case I will import code location which is Apple native uh, class for using location services it will help user to uh, get the user current location and changing of the location or in this class so now I will build my check whether it is ok ok now I created the method save the time for user and put this here and now this uh, method name is get current location and now creating a variable of the to track the location services which is my location manager variable location I think the class okay. and, uh, I will call this my method inside view did load so whenever my application starts and comes in view controller uh, screen then this view did load method calls that is application lifecycle or app lifecycle method so now you can see that here in the some errors okay. we check why these methods are coming okay I'm doing something wrong I think I created a long class variable I think see a location manager will be the right uh, let me check okay the current class is right class is location see a location manager I created see a location so that is why the errors are coming and now you can see that here is the delegate method which I need to add in this class so I will add in separate extension I'm using basically Swift 5 so uh, uh, let and now I add the method for this see a location manager delegate I just copy pasted this method to save the time not delete so this is the method whenever the user location changes this method will be called so you can see the did update location is the name of the method and here this method will give the latitude and longitude of the user so now yeah, I find this uh, settings for location services for Swift 5 so you need to add these settings in the input plist file here the location services so I think if I not, uh, not add these low and lower run the file uh, project and the error will be logged below I will show you those errors so I run 
the project the log panel I opened it and now here uh, you guys can see that the logs are printed or errors if I not add the plist settings sensitive privacy sensitive data without a usage description the as input list must contain these variables to use the location services so that is why I showed you previously that you need to add those settings in the info plist file so now I'm gonna add those settings in the info plist file please subscribe my channel so I will keep uploading these type of videos now I will put the settings in the info plist file that I previously showed you on the stack overflow. Okay, I will change the description to my app use device location services. I will copy it and paste it for all three settings so it will save time. Now I am pasting for all three. Okay, this uh, show you in the playlist also. And these three settings are added. If I scroll bigger, now you can see that the privacy location when in use is the description. My app uses device location services. Whenever the uh, iOS asks for permission, so this message will be displayed there that my app use device location services now i run the app and let's see if the logs printed message again or it's my breakpoint now, now you can see the here is the permission pop-up and message is same i'll use always use location services Okay, now this method will be called in the I will put the breakpoint here and now you can see that these latitude and longitude are printed here uh, okay so this basically whenever the user location is changes this method will be called and will pull print the longitude and latitude values this is my method of current get the location I will call this method in the you did load so simple is that not too much of lines of code now I will add the label in this screen and set those latitude values and longitude value in this level now I'll add the constraint to center horizontally and vertically now here you can see that it label in the center of the screen and uh, now I'll connect from code and drag this to create the IB outlet I'll name it LBL location that is my label of my UI and I will set the value of this LBA location in this method of code locations now here you can see paste it and now location dot text equals to I will set the values for longitude and latitude here location dot text equals to string latitude equals to the variable I will 
location value dot latitude and comma now I'll add the longitude value here longitude and the variable or containing the value of the longitude which is loop value dot longitude okay let's see the value will be set it on my UI I will run the app again let's see if these values are set on this level okay run the app and here is my breakpoint run app and now here you can see that the values are set it please do me a comment below to ask any question Thank you for watching video.